So how do you handle criticism? Because if I'm honest, it's been kind of tough lately. <laughs> hey, it's Karen with Karen and Jeremy in the mornings on KCBI. And I've criticism is something I've been struggling with. And God gave me three things to combat criticism. Now, first, let me say there is a difference between a critique and criticism. You know, if you've ever gotten an employee evaluation, your boss will give you things to work on to help you improve because they want to see you succeed. Ephesians 4.29 says we're supposed to build each other up with our words. But criticism is not about building up, it's about tearing down. And one day in particular, I was really having a hard time with something someone said on social media. And I said, God, I feel like I'm being attacked. And he said, you are. But then he reminded me of Ephesians 11 that says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. He was saying, Karen, it's not really the person, it's the spirit behind them, which was a great reminder. <laughs> and it helped, but not fully. Then he went on to remind me of the rest of Ephesians 6 that talks about putting on the armor of God. He's like, girlfriend, you're missing some things like the belt of truth, you know, and isn't it interesting that truth is a belt that you wear around your center because we're supposed to be centered in the truth of God. He says to put on the breastplate of righteousness that protects your heart for shoes to put on the peace that comes with the gospel of Jesus Christ. And we're supposed to carry that peace with us wherever we go. And then he says up, says to take up the shield of faith. So you can stop the fiery darts of the enemy. And I was feeling the darts that day. He also says to put on the helmet of salvation. That protects your mind. Then he says to take up the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. We're supposed to be in the word daily. And to pray in the spirit at all times and all occasions. Constantly communing with God. Not only talking to him, but also listening to what he has to say. And the last thing he said to me was, Karen, if you really knew and understood who you were in Christ, what they say wouldn't bother you because you would be finding your worth and value in what I say about you and not in what they think. Thank you, Lord, for that critique. <laughs> I needed to hear it and be reminded of it daily.